big Sony camera.
מזל טוב, מזל טוב, יעקב ושרה. מזל טוב זה יציג לי שעה סודה, קונגוליישנס. טוב. כן, כן, תעמוד. אוקיי. Well, let us all take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. <laughs> This is how it goes in life. You want to be on the right side, you go to the left side, and just make sure. Be where you feel more comfortable. So, it seems like the only thing is missing is the Shukarosh of Mashiach. Because I feel all the hearts are ready to accept it. Maybe it will come in the middle of the chuppah. What can we do? We all want to get close to Hashem, to ourselves. And this is the moment to do it. So first I want to make the connection for Rabbi Nakadosh, Rabbi Nachman, Rasslev. All the seven bestlers, the holy bestlers that are already here, but I want to connect myself to them. To say Mazel Tov to Yaakov and Sarah. Mazel Tov! Mazel Tov! And to say thank you. Thank you, Hashem. And thank you for the privilege to do this hoop and go. In each, in each chupa, we have the Shekhinah with us, and we have the holy Avot, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Yom Yaakov. Sarah, she's the daughter of Avraham Avinu, Nava Shalom. So everybody's here, and also the kids that will come in the future. It's written in the Zohar that the souls are also here. So basically, everybody's here, you know? We want to do it perfect. We want to do it uh, shalem. Let me tell you a story that uh, most of you, I reckon that you heard it, a story for Rabbi Nachman. But home, they didn't listen to the story, so they can give a big smile. And you know the story. This is your story, Yaakov. It's also my story. Story of every, every dream Jew. It's called The Treasure Beneath the Bridge. And it is told that uh, one time a good Jew dreamt a dream. And what he saw in the dream, he saw a big bridge. And under the bridge there was a big treasure, enormous, huge treasure. I don't know what was in this treasure, but in this dream he felt like everything is there. So if you would have been this Jew, what to do in the morning? You take the subway, you know, to Vienna, the big city where you would dream the dream. And you go to find this bridge. You want to take the treasure. We came to this world to, to take treasure, to take good things with us. So this is what he did. Very simple. Rabbi Nachman is a simple guy. He's telling very simple stories. But when he came to the bridge, he saw it's not so simple. Because there was many people there. You know, people go. And if you go try to take the, the treasure, they will want also to take a part of it. So what did he do? He went to Gulf Hasid. He went to the night. We work in the night. So he went to it for the night. But in the night, there was another problem. In the night came the soldiers. There were soldiers all around. But he said, you know what, they're doing patrol. I wait for the time and they go down. So this is what he did. He went down to, the, to get the treasure. And then the soldier came. Hey, what are you doing here? So you know, Yaakov and Sarah, the, the, the truth is our best friend. When you have a problem, always go to the truth. You will never lose. So this Jewish, he was also a Hasid, he said, you know what, the truth is my best friend. I'll tell you the truth, maybe we'll, do, we'll, we'll split. Listen, I dreamt a dream in the night. There is a big treasure here, he came to take you. You want to help me and maybe we do halves? So the soldier told him, oh, you Jewish people, you believe in dreams. I also dreamt a dream yesterday that there is a treasure beneath the, the bed. And he said the name of the Jew and his village. So the Jew said in his heart, this is my village name and my name. I should go back home. So this is what he did. He went back home and he dig, digged under his bed and he found a huge treasure. treasure. But Sarah shall irat shaman, says Rabbein. And then he said this thing. The treasure was by me. But to know that, to acknowledge this fact, I had to go up to the Vienna, up to the Vienna. 
Also you, Yagom Sara, the treasure is easy in you. But to go, to get to this treasure, you have to do it together. In this hotel. When you do it together, everybody goes to the place of the mother. He can find the treasure that is in himself. And this goes for everybody, every one of us. How we do it? Well, come to me after the hotel we speak. <laughs> you know? It's not something simple, but in the way it is, because we believe in the pure heart and in the prayers, you know, that's Parsha, we, Parsha Tito, we got the Torah, and this is the Torah, this is the Torah. And Shlomo Kalibach says that when the Shem told you should not kill, some people heard, don't take your knife and stack it in the belly of your friend. But other people, the greater people, they heard, never be angry. And greater people than them, says of Shlomo, they, they heard when you see somebody which is lonely, never ignore him. They all say, they all listen to the same words and they understood otherwise. Also you, when you get married with Sarah, you will hear the same words, but you do not get the same words. Understand? This is how it all. In our parasha, Ela Mishpatim, Asher Tassim Lifnehem, says Rav Shlom, what is Lifnehem? You know, all of the rules of the world, if you're a thief, when you get encountered with the laws of thief, when you steal something, but in our Torah, when you read what says Rav Shlomo, the parasha, you shall not steal, you don't want to steal anymore. This is Lifnehem. Before you steal, you learn the Torah, you understand, I don't want to do that. And that is what I want to do. And all of these things, why thing you, you now, these things? Because when you get married, and you become holy, and you become, uh, holy, shall I? Complete. Thank you. I couldn't complete it by myself. So when you come complete, and this is, you know, I'm standing here, and my wife is in the near me and with 10 kids. I reckon they are screaming now. They want maybe to eat or do something. And I'm here, you know? And the completion is that she's happy there and I'm happy here, you know? <laughs> yes? <laughs> I have another wedding in Wednesday, I don't, and then I told her, in this wedding you're coming with me. What about the kids? Let's talk about it afterwards. Anyways, I bless you in my heart that now you will be complete. Your heart will be complete, your life will be complete, everything will be complete. And let us pray for Yaakov and Sarah, that everything will be like Mashiach now, man. Okay. So we do the first class. Yeah. that forgot it, but in the end it's you. So let's call us, let us call the witness, F.O.I.D. 
you should come. And you bought it by yourself in your bubble, if you it's okay. You think it's worth a pruta? What do you think? I also think, and this is a good question, why we ask the they are good people, but they are not that sort of thing, you know, they are not experts in rings. So what do you ask in this, this question? It's worth a pruta. So Rabbi Nathan, he says that we ask them for the bride, for Sarah to listen. She needs to know one good thing. It all starts from one pruta. From there, the sky is the limit. But this is the start. And it's also Baalucha. Maybe he thinks this will ring well to million. We say, no. It's not worth a million. Maybe it's, it's a Pruta, it's maybe more. But we start with that. And this is the life. So with this Pruta and plus, you can do it. So take it. Sarah, so give you your right hand. Get rid of your heart. The witnesses you can see. Okay. The heart is uh, pumping. You're ready? Okay. <laughs> That's the time. Mashiach, give us Gila now. Take it away. But this is yours, and you can uh, do the bracha chiyan shechianu v'kiman v'yalu zman ze. And it's not for the talent; it's for the new situation, the, the new wife, the new apartment, the new light that you brought into the, into this world. This is the new bracha. Okay, so. Oh, I'll tell the audience, you know, why I'm going to read now things you're not going to understand? This is a good question. Okay, ah, okay, so another one. He will write, okay, so come please. What's your name? Rav Ramon. He will write the Ketuba. <laughs> he will write things you, you will not understand. But I'll tell you why before he reads it. Um, because, you know, in this life we have to, to obligate. This is goes also for the shame. And the obligation is not by heart. We have to write it. We have to, and not only write it. Jacob before did uh, did. He took my scarf as a Kenyan, and and it's written the, in the books that the time the Rav Rimon will uh, read it too. But it's the time for everyone also me, to think about his responsibilities for his wife, for himself, for the share, and to get Siata Dishmai to do it better. Uh, so you don't have to understand the words, you just need to connect to your heart and make a good Kabbalah from, I'm starting from now, okay? So thank you. Thank you. 
איזו התרגשות. אני רק אגיד, אני כבר אגיד בקצרה, אנחנו מאוד אוהבים את יעקב, ועכשיו גם את שרה. We love יעקב and Sarah very much. In our parasha we read, מעמד הר סיני, עם ישראל, גץ דה תורה, וכל העם רואים את הקולות. To see a voice means that you see above reality. When someone looks just in reality, everything can break him, you know, something is said here, I said, Yaakov, you have the ability to see things uh, above, and uh, to have simcha also when things, uh, you know, you don't know what will happen or what will be. And Baruch Hashem, with lots of prayer, you found Sarah, and uh, we know that you have such a good heart, and Bezrat Hashem, with Sarah together, you live much more than what you have till today, and together you have the ability to see the color, to see the voice, you can't see a voice, but the Torah speaks about to see a voice, to see together for a distance, for a, wow, so many good things that Bezrat Hashem you do together, Le'atzmechem, Le'amishpacha, Le'am Yisrael, Bezrat Hashem. Amen. בשלישי בשבת, שלושה ועשרים יום לחודש שבט, שנת חמשת אלפים ושבע מאות ושמונים ושתיים לבריאת עולם. למניעת שאנו עונים כאן עיר הקודש ירושלים תיבנה ותיכונן עם הרבי אמינו אמן. אנא צדה, איך החתן, יעקב ברוך, ומשה הלוי למשפחת פלדר, השם ישמרו ונצרעו, אמר ליד המרת שרה הדסה, אמרת אברהם אבינו עליה השלום, עליו השלום אבי לי לאיתו כדת משה וישראל. וענה בימי מרוסיית הדשמה אפלח ואוקיר ואיזון ואפרנס ואכלכל ואסובר תכף ואסכסה את אכלכי כלכל גוברין יהודיים ופלכין וגוברין ונזין ופרנסין ומכלכלין וסובר נכנסין יד נשאות וקושטה. הסכמת מתחייב לדאוג לה, כבד אותה. ויעיב מלכי, כסף זו דמיד אחז לכי, נרמדה מאוזנייך וסיוטה את מסוגלת בין אבנתייך וכל רב כל הרע, וצביעה תמרת שרה הדסה, ואהבת לי לאיתו. והוסיף לה חתן עיני עוד מאה אלף שקלים חדשים, וסך הכל כתוב על הספת, עולים לסך מאה זוז ועוד מאה אלף שקלים חדשים. וכך אמר יעקב ברוך עלי והיא חתן דמה. האחריות שאתה תודו ואני לא קבלית עליי ועל ירתי ואתרא, ואתרא אלי פעם וכאן שפרגה על נכסים וכדין דהי תדחות כל שמיא, דקנאי ודעתית אלא למיקנא, נכסים דהי תלון אחריות, דהי תלון אחריות, כל הון יהום. אחראים וערבי נפרא מן הון משתרתות ונתון ידן ותוספת הדעה, ואפילו מנגנים עדה על כתפיי, וחיי ובדר חיי, מעניון הדנן ולעלה. ואחריות וחומר שתרתות ונתון ידן ותוספת הדעה, קיבל עליו יעקב ברוך עלי ויחתן דנן, כחומר כל שטרי כתובות ותוספתו, דנהגים לבנות ישראל על סוידי כתיקון חז"ל. דלה כאסמכתא, דלה כתופסי דשטרי, וביטול לדון ופיסול מודעות. וקנינה, מין יעקב ברוך בן משה הלוי למשפחת פלדר, שם ישמרו ונצרעו חתן דנה. למרת שרה הדסה בת אברהם אבינו עליו השלום, על כל מעט דכתיב, הוא יפרש לעין, במדה דקשר, למקנה יבי, והכל שריר ובריר וקיים. נאום, חיים בן בן ציון הכהן עד, נאום, יצחק ורבי חיים. גם אני החתן, מודה על כל הנ"ל ובאתי מחתום ונ"ל, יעקב פנדר. אז בעזרת השם, תן לה קלה. אוקיי, אז אנחנו נמשיך. תודה רבה, הרב רימון, השם יברך אותך, אשריך וטוב כתיבך. טוב, זיבן ברוכס, שבע ברוכס, שבע ברכות, אז גויים. אז אנחנו נמשיך בגדול סמייל. הנה, תבדוק את הכוס. אוקיי, אז אנחנו
uh, remember that I promised the the Chatan and the Kala to give a Birkat Kohanim just before. So it's good time to do it and to give another blessing for the deep of my heart before we continue. So, okay, if there was other Kohanim, you can yes. come. That's the time to do Birkat no, Kohanim no, for the Zubat Tari. Oh, 
finished yet because we have another cup, the third cup. Um, it's very smooth here, it's the Zerch Lechlik Lechayakov, the Ufukas, our Chim Ram Tzachani Zayar. So we you know basically it goes like that before we sing for Yerushalayim. The Sipurim Maasiyot Hatam, Hatam, he said, it's written there, Shelo Asa Avodah Veshlemot. Hatam, which is complete, his work was not in completion. How come it is? How how it is, so they say it's, com it's not complete because he knew he himself could not complete this. This is also here. It's so, where are we now in this Hatona? But we remember Yerushalayim, and the people from Benin are not afraid. Because we say, so some of us when I see a that at this moment we take our heart which is broken and we put it in the Maragal of the Simcha. This is the secret of this glass. We see the Nishmaya, Amen. We see the Nishmaya, and soon the Mishnah will be built completely. Amen. So, close brother.